Inside Science TV. Earthquakes are unexpected, terrifying, and can hit at any time, causing major destruction, and they can be deadly. More than 1.3 million earthquakes rattle our world each year, destroying homes and changing the landscape of cities around the world. I saw my city destroyed because of this earthquake. Stanford structural engineer Eduardo Miranda was in Mexico City when a magnitude 8.1 hit. I've seen firsthand the big impact that earthquakes can have. There were more than 10,000 people that were killed. Hundreds of buildings collapsed. Miranda and engineer Gregory Deerline have spent decades studying how to make buildings stronger. The first thing that's on uh, structural engineers' minds is to keep buildings safe, to keep them from collapsing. Um, that's number one. There's so much memories and feelings about a house. It's, it's a huge impact to, to have your, your house destroyed or even damaged during an earthquake. Now, these two have teamed up to build an earthquake-resistant house. Either experience less damage, or if it is damaged, to be damaged in a way that we anticipate that we can repair quickly. So there are two ways in which we explore how to do that, and they, they sort of work together, they combine each other. On the first one, we're trying to increase the strength and stiffness of the house. So to get all the, the walls and ceilings engaged um, through adhesives and other strong connectors to make the house stiffer and stronger than conventional houses. And then there was another philosophy that we used, which is called base isolation. The idea of base isolation is that rather than fixing your house to the foundation, what we do is we don't fix it, but rather we built it on special kind of supports. They built the house on a seismic isolator, basically a steel dish and something that looks like a hockey puck. This is uh, one of our seismic isolators. This is what allows the house to move or slide relative to the earthquake. The idea is that the ground moves while the house is sliding on this surface. And the other component is a slider. The slider, it's essentially a piece of plastic, a thermal plastic, a polymer, uh, that it's attached to another piece of steel. Now, in the house, we had 12 of these sliders. The true test? Three, two, Building the house one. on a shake table that simulates the strongest earthquakes ever recorded. Moving the house 50 inches in just one second. So in, in some of these ground motions had accelerations of more than one G, an horizontal acceleration. That's equivalent as if you would have rotated the earth 90 degrees and put the high house sideways for a few fractions of a second. That's a very large levels of, of ground motion that, that this house is subjected to. The walls remained uncracked, the windows uncracked. There was essentially no damage to the, to the structure. The cost for this new technology when it becomes available? Deerline estimates an extra ten to $15,000 when building a new home refer to the house as earthquake resistant, not earthquake proof, because even on the isolators, there are motions that get into the house. We prevent damage to the walls, damage from cracking, but there will still be shaking in the house. Um, things can fall off tables. One would need to brace bookcases. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.